vegetable oil auxiliary tank for my car. What it does, it takes waste vegetable oil that I clean up prior to placing here. And all this tank does, it has a heater system in it, uh, as well as a heated vegetable oil filter. This is a 10 micron oil filter, and it allows me to run my diesel engine on waste vegetable oil. Waste vegetable oil uh, is preferred because it's free. <laughs> I mean, you can put any oil in it that you buy, but when uh, Rudolph Diesel made the diesel engine, he made it first to run on peanut oil. Anyhow, it was never meant to run on petroleum. Uh, but the oil has to have a certain viscosity. This particular filter uh, heats the oil up to about 170, 175 degrees. Uh, however, these hoses are all connected to the radiation, the radiator system in the car. Uh, so what it does, it pumps hot radiator fluid after the car warms up to temperature through here and into a little radiator, if you will, that's inside this tank. Once that goes in there, it, it heats the oil. And then once the oil is heated, it comes, pulls through here, which is also heated. On my uh, temperature gauge, I can see uh, that the oil has been heated, and once it's to temperature, I can flip this switch right there to allow it to start feeding vegetable oil instead of diesel fuel. There's another switch right here that turns on my um, heater inside the vegetable filter. Now these two gauges are indications for me of how much fuel I have in the vegetable oil tank and this is a vacuum pressure gauge that will give me the information. The more it's sucking the dirtier the filter is. Uh, actually, I change it less than I do the regular filter in the car. Um, when you hit that switch, what it does is there's a solenoid in here. Where is that baby? This solenoid right here. It w it allows you to shut off the the flow of diesel fuel and go into the uh, vegetable oil, and the vegetable oil runs through here. If you look at this system here, though, you'll find that there's three actual lines in here. One line is the fuel line and the other two lines are carrying radiator fluid to heat the line as it's coming up here. So it tries to maintain a constant temperature on the vegetable oil. And right. that's about it. That's, that's about pretty it. simple. It's very okay. simple. It, um, the, the only thing that you have to remember is it takes a while to purge the vegetable fuel. You want to start your car in vegetable uh, you don't want to start your car in vegetable oil, you want to start it on diesel fuel, but it, it depends. I mean, in the summer, you can be somewhere for an hour, an hour and a half, and not worry about having to, to shut down or start up on diesel fuel because the oil maintains a pretty good temperature. As long as it's about 130 degrees, you're good to go. This is about my, uh, my third car that I've been running on vegetable oil. It's, uh, it's a great system. It's free. I get about 250 miles per purchase the gallon uh, and the same uh, in the winter I get about 100, 110, 115 miles per purchased gallon. Uh, it just takes longer for the car to warm up to get to temperature before I can switch into a vegetable oil. No, no actually there are some systems out on the market now that have a computer generated sensor that will allow you to just set everything on automatic. It will automatically switch over to vegetable oil as soon as the temperature is there and when you drive in and shut down it will not shut down. You can shut it down, pull the key out and walk away. The engine will continue to run until it senses that the vegetable oil has been cleared then it will shut, shut down itself. That's a $380, $400 toy that I don't need. It's like turning windshield wipers off and on. And I know exactly uh, you just have to to think ahead how long you're going to be somewhere it, it's not that big of a deal right now I have on my odometer almost 800 miles and I have over half a tank of purchase fuel left so I'll probably get about 16 or 1700 miles on this tank of purchased fuel of course I got to keep adding vegetable oil but the vegetable oil is free I get it from my school and then I just clean it at home a very s small process 
with the filters, uh, the cost comes out to about anywhere from seven to 12 cents a gallon. There is no cost to collecting because I'm running on vegetable oil to go get it. And uh, in this particular case, I just drive over to the other side of the building, pick it up, and uh, take it home and filter it. The filters are about $7, and they, they'll do about five, uh, 500 gallons. Now, there are a few states that do because they, um, they claim that you're not paying for road tax. Uh, there's a place in Oberlin where you can buy clean vegetable oil from the pump that pays the road tax and that comes out to about $1.90 a gallon. Uh, there's been a couple lawsuits and the vegetable oil guys have won because it's not totally a fuel in itself, it's an additive per se in that it extends the life, it just increases your mileage. Just like a Prius when it's running on electricity, that person did not pay for, for that electricity. So he's not paying any road tax either. So if they're going to attack the vegetable oil guys, they have to attack all the cars that have uh, that are now uh, hybrids. So, so this is a hybrid then? This is, yeah, it's considered a hybrid. Okay. And I also get a tax break and so on and so on. Okay. It's a tax break uh, because I have an alternative vehicle, uh, fuel vehicle. I, I can deduct it from my taxes. Okay. One time. One time, okay.